Let's sketch y equals 3 to the x minus 1 minus 2. So this tells you the vertical shift. And the 1 right here tells you the horizontal shift. You need to know both of those pieces of information. Let's do a quick sketch. Draw a basic coordinate system in here. By hand, let's say. So we'll call this x, we'll call this y as usual. Now take a look. In this coordinate system, first just go instead with y equals 3 to the x. That's the parent graph. Look what happens with this graph. When x has the value 0, then we end up with the following. 3 to the 0, which is 1. So in other words, we get the point on a parent graph that looks like 0, 1. When x has the value 1, we get the point on this graph, then it's 3 to the first, which is 3. So we end up with the point 1, 3. Mark these points. So say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, okay, count by the same spaces. So about 1, 2, 3, 4. Count down. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. So mark the point 0, 1 in here first. So 0, 1 is right here. Okay. Then mark the point 1, 3. So say that point is right up here. This is 1, 3. And then you connect these. So you end up with something that looks like this. Remember that it's 3 to the x is asymptotic to the x-axis. So there should always be a gap here. And it passes through these points and then goes off in this direction. So this is the graph of just 3 to the x. Our graph, though, is this one, 3 to the x minus 1 minus 2. So we can use these points as follows, just transform them. This says, the 1 there says add 1 to the x, and the negative 2 means subtract 2 from the y. So take the point 0, 1, and do exactly what this says. You're going to do 0 plus 1, adding 1 to the x, and then take the 1 and subtract from it 2. And then simplify that to get a new point, 1, negative 1. Take the point 1, 3, and then simplify that according to what this says. You're going to add 1 to the x, so it's going to be 1 plus 1. And then this says subtract 2 from the y, so you're going to have 3 minus 2, and simplify that, so it's 2, 1. Mark these new points in here, so 1 and negative 1 is about here, and then 2, 1 is about here. Good. Now, since this negative 2 is the vertical shift, remember it's also the horizontal asymptote. In other words, draw a dashed line through negative 2 this way, like this. And then when you draw the transformed version of the curve, go through these points like this, and then make sure that you suggest that the curve approaches this line without crossing it. And then this is y equals negative 2. To summarize, we can say the following for the transformed curve. The domain is still negative through positive infinity. Everything that we have done doesn't change the domain at all. The range is different. Well, the range is going to begin at the value of the vertical shift here, and then it's going to go up in this direction forever, like this, towards positive infinity up there. So it begins at negative 2, but the negative 2 is not included, so it gets a parenthesis, comma, and it goes up towards positive infinity this way. Please be sure to like and share.